any dispatch may help you. Yeah, did you get any reports or any objects in the air about 15 minutes ago? Mm, you know, somebody called in, but I'm not, in, I really don't know what that would be. Yeah, I mean, it was very strange. Okay. Looks like a back end of a, like one of them fighter planes, you know, like the plane coming out the back. Okay, was it just like moving at a slow rate of speed? It wasn't a slow rate, it was a fast rate, but it was coming down. It was coming down? Yeah. Like straight down or at an angle? Like an angle. At an angle? Yep. Okay. I mean, it was a real big in, you know, in the back. Okay. Check with the air base in Vienna and see if they have any report of anything in the area. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, right. bye bye. 996. Uh, 996. We have a report by a CC. Actually, two calls in of a vehicle in the sky, unknown object above Samson Drive. Have you noticed anything? That's affirmative, sir. What's the location? The area of Samson Drive. Both are solid. Sir, he just advised in the air, in the sky. He didn't advise direction. 998. 998, Did he give you a description on the object? Public service, sir. I'll give you further. Okay. Any dispatch? Okay. Bob, I swear to God, four calls in on an unidentified object over Liberty. Four calls. Four calls on an unidentified flying object. Come on down, take a look. All right, we'll check it out. You want me to call the air base and see if there's anything in the area? I'll take a look. <laughs> I swear to God.
check in the area, but I really, these UFO calls are getting out of hand. I don't know what it is. If it was, what the hell would they come to Liberty for? There's no intelligent life in Liberty. Come on. <laughs> We're telling everybody they're, they're, for, they're doing a sequel to this, uh, what's that new Star Trek movie, Generation so. <laughs> Louis Green, no noise. No noise. I think it was low flying and took off. So. Oh, come on. Fifth Avenue. Are you serious? It's driving up Fifth Avenue Extension. Now, no, but, oh, 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 Christ. Not driving. Are you flying? It just came down and just zooped over it with a big, glowing object. Well, we got four calls on it. The last guy said it was a fighter plane. <laughs> You tell me that I would do a, like a big, big news story on the water and liberty and the effects on the people, because these people are clearly afflicted. <laughs> but I appreciate the tip. I'll let them know some more on it. I just, I dispatched it because God only knows my luck. It would land here, abduct some people, and I would be in trouble for I, dispatching. I was impressed because I heard the way you dispatched it, and I said she's trying real hard not to break. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm working with the biggest jokers on the on the force tonight, so. Oh. It's real hard not to. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> well, if we do run into a UFO, I swear I will call you personally. Okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> we'll give you an exclusive. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. County dispatch. Yeah. Okay. Liberty Police. Pardon me? Am I calling the Liberty Police? What you need, ma'am? Uh, I wonder, did you have any, um, anyone call you about a, a strange plane or airplane or something in the air? To... Yeah, they're checking it out. Yeah, I just saw it on Samson Road. Where? On Samson Drive. Okay. It was coming down Samson Drive. It was almost, it looked like it was, I don't know what it was, it was a flying saucer or what it was. It wasn't an airplane. Mm -hmm. It was not an airplane. It was down awfully low. Are you the same lady to call Channel 33? No. Okay. All right. You, you must have had calls, other calls in order to Yeah, not many, a couple. Yeah. All right, thank you. So what does it look like, ma'am? It was like a, uh, almost like an iridescent color. It was like a bluish, bluish purple, you know, it was like a long streak. You know, it might have had, it almost was like a, it had fire coming out of the back of it. Okay. You know, maybe it was, I don't know what it could have been if it was, if it was an, I know it wasn't an airplane. Okay, ma'am, I'll let them know. All right. All right, ma'am. I'm not good. Okay, uh, CC stopped me, said, uh, Uh, yes, sir. This 
This is Ryan from Liberty Township Police Department in Yankton, Ohio. Yeah. We have a report of some flying object in our jurisdiction, in our area, uh, above the Samson Drive Fifth Avenue extension area. I could not give you any kind of uh, traffic, you know, direction that would help you know that area. Do you know of anything that should be in our airspace this time, close to the ground? Uh, right this now. is not a prank phone call. I swear, you can yeah, call me back uh, and verify. Look at the uh, radar scope, and uh, I go 60 mile diameter of Youngstown, and there is nothing out there. Oh shit! Not even anything up high. We've got no five, five accounts, five calls in on this. Yeah. Something flying in our area, and it's low to the ground. Would you be able to monitor like a Cessna or something with a light on it? Well. Do you mean visibly? No, uh, the with, with the radar. Oh, uh, with the radar, uh, it depends on how high it is and where they are. You know, if it's uh, low, radar coverage so is Okay, now I get a text to go over the air and tell them something, and I don't want to say you couldn't find anything. <laughs> is there any, like, uh, clause I might use that it might be, like, a personal aircraft or something that might be used at night or something? Could be. Could be, uh, you know, it just could be anything. Um, uh, as far as, uh, you know, any kind of helicopter traffic or anything down low, they don't have any kind of requirements to... Uh, it made no noise. ...officer coming into the airport here. Huh? Okay, so you have no communications with helicopters. It could be something like that? Yeah, it could be a helicopter. Okay. Could be, uh, Okay. All right, I'm, I'm buying this 100%. But are you, uh, you know, is that location anywhere near a hospital? We are close to a hospital, but the location is away from, it's as low as they said it was to the ground, it would be approximately five miles away from the hospital. Yeah. Um, we're closer to, that end of town is closer, like, out towards the Vienna line, uh -huh. Vienna Air Base area, and that's what I thought maybe it was related to. Yeah, we haven't had, uh, we haven't had anything uh, going on. Uh, Okay. Then I'm going to repeat. Okay. Like, uh, okay, just go out here northbound, climbed up high, and uh, nothing's going on around here. Okay, I am going to advise you of this. You could take it and file it in your G and in your garbage can if you want to. Uh, we've got accounts of this. Hold on one second for me. Okay, I've got four to six calls. Hold on one second. Smart ass. Okay, um, at this time, I've had four to six calls come in about a lit object, well, lit object, blue-green lights, hovering above uh, the area of Sampson Drive and Fifth Avenue. The object was low to the ground, did not make any noise, uh, hovered there for some time, and then continued moving down the Fifth Avenue extension road. Uh, my unit was out. He caught something he thought was red. Somebody described it as the end of a fighter pilot plane. I don't know what the hell kind of lines of continuum they're drawing here. I don't see any, but this is what I was advised of, so I wanted to call. Okay, well, you know, we don't, uh, we, I have a, uh, when I was downstairs in the radar room, I would have a finder with some phone numbers. We have uh, some 800 numbers as far as, uh, you know, identified flying object reports and things like that. If you wish, you can call okay. uh, you know, during uh, business hours tomorrow. I, like I said, I don't know. Uh, if, you know. I don't see anything out there, uh, nothing on the radar scope, I haven't seen anything, and, uh, you know, we don't really do anything with the information. Okay. I just, I thought I'd pass along in case somebody was maybe flying without permission and, you know, night flying or something like that. I didn't know what was going on, but uh, as long as I've done my job passing <laughs> along, and I don't want to sound like a crackpot, but that's what we've got in so far. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Nine on eight radio. Nine on eight, good. Yeah, I'm going to quit. I don't see anything right now. What I saw, I have no idea what I saw. It just might have been just a light up in the sky. I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I thought I heard 
in the sand if they did. But they think it might be from the air base. Right. As I said, the Liberty Dispatch is on the uh, phone right now speaking with the air base. And they think that's where it's from. Yes. All right. Well, thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.